you. I'm a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but hang on a minute. I okay, my habit, I smoke. Yeah. But you apparently pick your nose and play with Play-Doh. <laughs> when I was younger, Kate, when I was younger. I still play with Play-Doh. The picking nose, I'll tell you at the commercial. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you there was a little smoking going on, but it's alright. You're a grown woman, you're of age. Yeah. You're British. Yeah. You're gonna keep beating me up about this. No, I'm not. I'm not. Oh I just, dear, it's terrible. You know, no. It, how are you? Are you good? I'm fine. Congratulations on the movie, first Thank of all. You. Whoever Thank expected you. it to be. Thank you. You've seen it, I take it. I have. I've um, I have seen it, but only properly the other night. And I went to uh, I went to a proper movie theater, and I paid, and I queued up, and. I sneaked into the back row with my friends and uh, was trying to be very sort of calm and collected about the whole thing. And then it all went horribly wrong because I drank too much Diet Coke and I needed to pee from the minute the film started. Uh. And then I was sort of shuffling around a little bit in my seat and kicked the woman in front of me. So she sort of bolted forward, turned around and went <sighs> like that. I mean, I thought, <laughs> Sorry, Did she recognize you? No, not at all. Oh. No, I, well, I don't. I mean, I, I sort of get away with it. I don't really get recognized when I'm walking around and things. So I can still go and do the grocery shopping and. All those normal things. No kidding. Absolutely. So nobody at the whole theater recognized you with you sitting in the movie theater? No. Unlike me, whenever I've seen a film that I'm in, I stand up and go, that's me up there! <laughs> I'm in this film! It's a whole different style we have. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> but you're great in it. And you're great in everything. As I was telling the audience, the movie Jude that you did, it just, it literally ripped my soul apart. It was so great. Oh, thank you very much. It was a small film. It was an independent film, I think. Here, it was, it? yes, it was. And it didn't sort of get a very wide distribution but um it was i mean it was hard to do sort of playing a part of a woman whose child hangs himself and kills the other children i mean it's i mean my my mum you know she said it killed her it when did. she saw it out of uh, poverty wasn't a mean kid they didn't have enough money and yeah that wasn't right. like a psychotic like heavenly creatures movie which she was into and those kids were wacko <laughs> but this was more of a heart raging story of poverty that Wrecked me for a full week. I had dreams about that little boy's face. Oh, God, I'm I did. sorry. Oh, that's all right. Awful. That's a great performance, though. Thank you. Very when did much. you start acting? How old were you? Well, I think I was probably about one day old. Oh, no, really? You were <laughs> well, one of those I think, kids? I don't know. It was one of those. It's very much in my family, and I think I sort of always wanted to do it, really. And I never thought, you know, oh, I want to be a star or anything like that. It just was part of my upbringing because my dad does it and my older sister, younger sister, grandparents and my grandfather was also a dentist so he used to make teeth in the top of the house and have the surgery downstairs and the theatre was in the back garden. So, so they sort of all grew up with it, you know, all around them and uh, I remember being cast as Mary in my school nativity play and thinking, this is it, this is it, this is it. Yeah. We're very excited. I did The Wizard of Oz in second grade. Fabulous. I was the, the good witch. I wanted to be Dorothy but Jan Brenner got the role. <laughs> and uh, that was the thing that got me. I thought, I definitely want to do this for a living. What was your first movie? My first movie was Heavenly Creatures. It was. Yeah, yeah you were great in that as well. Thank you. I was, really I was 17 when I did that. Do you still live over in England or you live here now? Yes, I do. I live in London. I you enjoy London. it? I do. I, lo I love London very much. I mean, I love it here. God, it's fantastic. New York. It's yeah. pretty good. Did it's you see very it? tempting. You sort of think, <clears throat> and I wonder if I can afford to buy an apartment here. It's very, it's, it's just there's so much to do, and everyone seems to be having such a good time. And Have you seen the musical Titanic here in New York? No, I haven't. You I haven't. must. I know Kate. I must. I'm a bit busy doing press, Rosie. Oh, yeah, you're doing a lot of press God. for that movie. <laughs> Was it a tough shoot for you? It looks like it was uh, amazingly difficult. It was, lo it was long. It was a long shoot. It was seven months. But wow. um, we, there were no shortage of laughs. I mean, you know, I was working with Leo DiCaprio, and he is a very funny guy, a brilliant actor. I mean, he's gifted from God as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I've never met him. Is he, is he funny? He is funny as anything. And we would always joke around, and we'd sing. We were sort of the naughty children on the set, kind of between takes and keeping each other going, because you have to keep your energy up a lot, because there were lots of big setups and stunts and extras and special effects and all that kind of thing. Right. And, uh, and so we'd sort of sing cheesy songs to each other and kind of try and wind each other up a bit. And it was, we really had a, a great time. Were you in that water tank a lot? I did one movie, I was in the water, and me and Amelia Westervez were in the water for like 12 hours. It was not easy. Oh, it's not easy. It's very, very exhausting. But really, I think the most exhausting part of it is sort of hanging on to the the sort of central integrity of the thing, which was the love story, of course, between Jack and Rose. And so Jim and Jim Cameron and Leo and I were constantly sort of talking about that and trying to keep all of that together, you know, amidst all the sort of madness of some of those scenes. Um, but it was, it was tiring. A little bit of a personal question, but you're in the water tank, mm -hmm. you're soaking wet, mm -hmm. you gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> it happens. You know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> 
No, because isn't it hard? You got to get out and then you got to undo all your clothes. Oh, well, that was the thing. I mean, it was so awful because Leo, Leo would sometimes, sometimes say to me, sweetie, sweetie, I got to pee. I can't I'm so boy. And so I sort of swim away for three meters. La, 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 la. <laughs> One patch, one patch, and then swim back, <laughs> swim back in, and then it would be his turn. It was terrible, really. I mean, it was awful, and you always felt awful doing it. But it was always too, it took too long to get out in the wet clothes, and oh god. So I confess, it happened. It happened. You see, I'm so sick that when I'm watching the movie, I'm thinking, I wonder if they went pee pee in the water tank, <laughs> or if they got out. Oh no, we did. It we was, did. It was very gut wrenching in that that end scene uh, in the water when he's in the water. Mm. I don't want to say, say it in case people didn't see it, but when he's on the water and you're on the raft, it was mm. very, uh, very gut-wrenching. It was a tough one. It was yeah. a tough one. And uh, I have to say, one, it, it sort of took about, well, I mean, everything took a, a long time because the setups had to be right and there were a lot of takes and different angles and things. And uh, one of those days, it was my 21st birthday, and I don't think I told Leo, and we were lying there on the raft sort of shivering together, and I said, Leo, it's my birthday today. And he said, that's great, sweetie. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> You're 21 years old? No, I'm 22 now. You're 22 years old? Yes, I'm 22. She's 22 years old? Yeah, but look, you're 35 and uh, no wrinkles. I am... I, you know what? If you're chubby, it helps with the wrinkle. <laughs> Honestly. Because if you're thin, your wrinkles show a lot. But if you keep a nice 40 pounds on you, <laughs> boom, you're smooth as silk. It's a little tip for the women out there. Bless you. what is yet to come for you. I did not know you were that young, but you are very elegant, poised, and articulate, and I find you compelling to watch on screen. Thank I really do. Much. You're awful pretty as well. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Kate Winslet. My come friend. back whenever you want. <laughs>